Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is the final part of my Midnight Mission series and in this video we're going to do all the fun stuff that we've wanted to do since the beginning. We get to turn the lights on in this video and also add all the final little touches that we need to finish the painting. If you're following along traditionally, check out part one in this series where I have a list of all the paint and the materials, the brushes, and the canvases that I use. We're going to be using Infinite Painter for Android, and we're going to go ahead and add a few more touches to the old well in the front. And you can take your script brush, your uh, short script brush, or your long script brush, and just add a little bit of some light purple around the edge of the well and darken it on the inside and basically just get a little bit of a refined look to your well and and make it look like there's old stones around on the edge and they look kind of jagged and you can go ahead and add more detail to the back of it again use a dark purple dioxazine purple and just kind of add jagged stones to the back in random random shapes you don't want them uniform just make them look random and go ahead and keep doing that until you get the the shape that you want kind of straighten up the edges just work around it a little bit <clears throat> and then the next thing you need to do is kind of work on the bushes and what we want to do is add some twigs to the bushes and you can take ultramarine blue and mix it with burnt umber and get a really dark mixture use your long script brush and just make thin twiggy branches poking out of your bushes just to give some indication of of the brush in the back there and you can do that to the ones that are in the front a little bit just add a few uh, branches you don't have to add a whole bunch because a whole bunch wouldn't wouldn't look very good but you just want indications of them sticking out from your bushes and then you want to go ahead and just kind of work on the the rocks along the pathway a little bit smudge them in better and if you're following along traditionally just add a little bit more brown color just kind of correct the shapes add a little bit of highlight smudge it with your finger and just go ahead and make it kind of blend into the dirt and so you want to go ahead and and keep working on that you don't want them to look real jagged you kind of want these stones to look like they're sort of covered up by the dirt and the sand along the pathway and so that's what i'm doing here just working on them just smudging things in just blending them in putting the final touches of the stones on the pathway and the final touches for your picture. You also kind of just want to get them sort of dark looking and and not real bright since they're going to be real muted in the moonlight. So that's another reason why we're smudging them in. And then here comes the fun part. We're going to turn the lights on in the picture. And so you can use your Leo brush and just take your cadmium yellow light, mix it with white, get an off-white color is what you want, and just make the little candlesticks and then put a little bit of cadmium orange on the end to make a little bit of a candle flame. You just want indications. It's not going to be a big detailed thing. And then you want to make a little bit of a glow. And I got a bunch of photo references from Pixabay and Morgue File just to see how candles look in the windows because you want to see how the, the glow hits the wall and everything. And you can use your airbrush category to make the glow. And then you go ahead and put a little candle in the niche above the door. Do the same thing. Use cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, just kind of a, a soft glow and if you're doing this traditionally you want to take your number six filbert and use a dry brush technique just use a very little bit of paint and glaze it on over the the candle and on the wall a little bit and along on the ground 
And then we do the same thing with the side windows here. Just make indications of the candles. And then take your Mirando brush and Infinite Painter and make that soft glow. We just want a soft, transparent glow and make sure the uh, the, the opacity in Infinite Painter is down really low. And put the glow on the ground where it would the light would be bouncing off onto the ground. Put it around in the front and on the step, the pathway a little bit. Just kind of scatter that light yellow and orangish color. And put a little bit on the top of your well as well, just to look, give it the look of the light reflecting off of the well a little bit from the mission. And just scatter it kind of on the left side and on the top of the well. Put it a little bit on top of the stones on your path and smudge that in though. We don't want it to be a, a hard look. We want a really soft, opaque, or not, oh, we don't want it to be opaque. We want it to be transparent looking. So we want a glaze type of a look here. So just go ahead and, and do that over your windows. Go back over it. Scatter some light on the path. Make sure that your opacity is low. We want a transparent look on the ground and we just want to scatter that all around <clears throat> on the picture a little bit. And then you can go ahead and smudge in the rocks a little bit more there. And go ahead and just work on finishing out the look of your picture. And then I wanted to go ahead and put a bush in the corner of the picture and this is called an eye stopper. An eye stopper is just an object that you put in the corner of your picture and that's just to make sure that your viewer's eye stays on your picture and doesn't wander off. And so I'm trying to get kind of a, a rough bushy look there and I'm using the same technique that I did for all the twigs and the other bushes and use your script brush. And then you can use the, the uh, pencil category and use the cart brush to kind of get a, a bushy look that looks like foliage there in the corner. It, it's kind of a rough uneven look there. And you can use your dioxazine purple and throw in some white, a lot of white, just to give it the, the purple look. And then here I'm just kind of refining the, the well some more. And you can use your script brush to do the final refinements on your well. And just kind of make it look a little bit more like stones. Just draw in some indications between the light colors and just give it a rough look on the edges, sort of right here, just trying to make it look like old jagged stones. <clears throat> and you can go ahead and do that at the bottom, kind of add a shadow behind it because the light's in front of it. So you can do like a glazing technique, which is just a really thin paint and dry brush it behind the well. And you can use a, a burnt umber color maybe or dark purple. You just kind of want a little bit of a shadow behind the well to make it look like the light is hitting it in the front. And you can go ahead and just keep on adding a little bit of the detail to the trees and the bushes. Work on the rocks a little bit. And what we want to try to do is give an indication of gravel and little rocks. So I'm using the inky brush from the airbrush category and infinite painter and just scattering light colored rocks all around in the painting. And what you can do traditionally is take an old toothbrush, just get a really thin paint mixture and flick it on the ground part and sort of cover up all your other subjects and and that will give you a sort of a gravel look and then here I want to go ahead and put the cross on top of the mission and you have to make sure that you get it straight but just go ahead and use a dark color either doxazine purple or 
uh, burnt umber maybe and you can use the the straight edge tool in infinite painter for this and you can use a ruler or a t-square if you're doing this traditionally and you just want to get the cross on the top and then highlight it on the left side for the highlight color you want to use dioxazine purple mixed with white throw in a little bit of cadmium yellow light just uh, the light moonlight color that you've sort of been using throughout your whole picture. And just go ahead and put the little edge lighting on the cross. It doesn't have to be really detailed or anything. You just want to put a little bit of highlight on the edge to give the indication that there's a cross on top of the church. And then the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and work some more on the ground and here I want to go ahead and go back to adding some more gravel on there but this time I want to make it a uh, dark looking gravel so go ahead and use burnt umber or dioxazine purple and again if you're doing it traditionally just make sure that it's a thin mixture of paint mixed with water or whatever you're using if you're using oil a, a thinner and Take your toothbrush and just splatter it all over the ground there. And the inky brush in Infinite Painter really does a good job of mimicking the toothbrush splatter. So I really like to use it a lot. And then here I'm just kind of smudging around on the dirt a little bit more. You can just take a, a little bit of brown or whatever and, and just kind of smudge it in a little that makes the gravel sort of settle down into the picture and not look like it's floating and you can just keep adding gravel where you think that you need it in the picture and along the edges of the building and you can make those look smaller towards the edge of the building and just go ahead and and continue doing the little final touches on your painting that you think need to be done just little touch-ups here and there and you can go ahead and and work on the the brush a little bit touch it up just a little bit and then here I'm going ahead and signing it even though I might do a few more things after I sign it that kind of helps me to wrap it up and I decided that I would brighten a few more of the stars not all of them just a few so take your script brush or the Leo brush on really small and go ahead and just brighten a few more of the stars in the sky and that just gives it the final touches and I've added a little bit of highlight to the Vegas on the edge there and then I called it good so this is the end of our midnight mission series I hope you enjoyed it here are some examples of some mission paintings that I've done in acrylic and as you can see, they come in different shapes and sizes. You can put them in all kinds of different weather conditions. You can put them in the snow, put them in the desert. You can even do silhouettes of missions, and they make really neat paintings. So everybody just stay tuned for a brand new series. And thanks, everybody, for all your support. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you later.